Hello everybody, Crit Crab here with a more humorous story than most that we cover on this channel if you couldn't tell by the title already. So without further ado, roll post. Characters, me, Eternal DM, SP, Stupid Player, GP2, Good Player 2, and GP1 is Good Player 1. So I, an Eternal DM, was running a session with my five-person party. Two could not make it. For context, they had just gotten captured by a cult of assassins and were going to be sacrificed to their dark god. The party was in a large prison cell carved out of the mountain that the assassin were using as a base, with bars covered in runes keeping them in. There was a guard who was told to get them whatever they wanted as long as it was not a weapon to keep them comfortable before the sacrifice. What I thought I was going to happen was that they would test the bars and then try and come up with a MacGyver-like solution when the things were given to them. So then GP1, playing an elf rogue, asks for a piece of sheet metal, and then the guard gives it to them. GP1 tries then to put it through the bars, and it dissolves. I then explain that it seems like things cannot go into the bars because they dissolve when they come back out. All the players but SP take down notes. I'm known for convoluted puzzles. Then Good Player 2, playing a Dragonborn Sorcerer, goes next. He asks for a large piece of meat, which is given to him. He then puts it through the bars, and I explain how it dissolves, and everyone gets their notes down. Then Stupid Player comes into the mix. This player was a handful from the beginning. I run my games in a school club, and we have a policy that I let anyone into our games so that they can make friends and have fun. Some kids in my area are in the State Department, so it's hard for them to find a group and make friends. But this kid is the worst. He traded the game like it was a joke. He had no respect for me as the DM. He tried to steal and murder everything, causing me to implement that all bartenders are retired adventurers who can kick your butt, and built exclusively meme characters, including Seduce Bard in a campaign I tried to keep PG. That character died in a stupid way as well, which I can post if people are interested. This time he was playing a meme druid that only spoke tree, which was making stupid noises. He did Fortnite dances constantly for no reason and actively tried to screw over the party by casting spiked growth where it would only affect them and the such. SP's turn came up and he looked around, giggled a bit, and then says, I quote, I stick my dong in between the bars. After this, the table went silent. I finally spoke and said one thing make a con save. He rolled the die and it came up with a result so perfect that it had to be karma against all the stupidity he had done. It was a nat one. Q laughing in Seinfeld slap bass. Another long story. I then say, as you pull your genitals between the bar, they immediately dissolve. Blood pools around your legs as you realize it is not clotting. You bleed out. Roll a death save. This is the point where karma was on my side once again as he rolled a four on the save, giving him one fail. The player then begged for someone to heal him. The other players, as sick of his crap as I was, said, No, you did this. We're not wasting potion or spell slots on you. He then proceeded to roll a 5 and a 9 and die as the other two experimented with the door. After that, I helped him make a new character and talked to him about what he wanted from the game and how I expected him to act, because I'm a good DM and person. He did leave the group eventually, but the fighter he made was a great addition for the table and clearly caused him to have a better time playing. Well, that was a story I'm never going to unknow. In all serious, I guess if you want to find out how good your character is without directly asking your party, uh, is to put your dong somewhere where it won't come back and see if anyone rushes to your aid. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, then please do leave a like. And if you want to see more of my videos, then by all means, please do subscribe to the channel. Till next time.